okay in your life? And I thought, you know, we had a little bit of a connection there, okay? Um, I know you, you've got a rough spot right now in your life, okay, with your mom, and especially your grandmother right now. And she's, she's dying, is that correct? Cancer and so on? Would you be able to look at me for a sec for a moment? Okay. I just, you know, when I talked to someone, and I know that when we talked on Friday, that, you know, you had good eye contact. Okay. And I know it's, it's a rough spot right now with your mom, with what she's dealing with. Okay. I know what, you know, um, was it Rydell? She was seeing, what was his first name? Dave. Dave. So she's got a lot going on in her life. And you've got a lot going on in your life right now, right? Now, I know you've talked to a couple other officers about this case, right? Now, I don't want you to be influenced by what they say. If someone's come in here and they said, you know, you should say this or that, that's up to you, okay? Now, I've been helping out on this for a while, for over a month now. And I've talked to lots of people. I told you that, didn't I? And I said your name came up. Okay, and I've talked to Terry Lynn. I've talked to all kinds of people. And what's happened here, I think, is that you've been caught up in a lot of stuff going on in your life. Okay, and what happened, you know, you've been out of work, you've been trying to make some ends meet, working under the table a little bit, just trying to get some cash. Okay, things haven't been going that well back home. Right? Can you look at me for a sec? And I know that, and you didn't want to really get into some of the stuff that's been going on back home with the girls and so on, You're right? Your ex-girlfriend and that, right? And I know you've been trying your best with your home life right now, with your mom helping out and your grandma. So, you know, you have the work problem, you're trying to work, and I know you do have a bit of a problem with the oxys, okay? And I found that out. So you've got a lot of a lot of stressors going on in your life. The thing that happened is though that you met someone. Okay, you met someone that a pizza at the pizza place there back a couple months ago, a few months ago. Right? That's what you told me. You're going, I think, into the was it the variety store or so? Remember seeing that? No, I remember saying right at 7 Eleven. Well, the variety store, right? And Terry Lynn was in getting some pizza or so on. Can you say that? No, uh, I think there was mention about something like that. Anyway, the thing that happened here, Mike, okay, is that you got connected with her. And you told me that, you know, what her family life's like, what she's like the drugs, her mother, what's been going on. And I know that you guys were doing oxys, okay, together. So the circumstances, Mike, okay, there's some bad decisions made here, okay. You guys got caught up in a bunch of stuff, okay. All the things that are going on in your life, okay. I can understand that. I can fully understand that. Now I saw Terry today, okay, I, I was with her. I, I've known, you You know, you've been keeping contact with her. I know you went to see her back on the 8th of May. You know, you brought her some clothes and so on, and you know, you talked about going here and there with her. But I was with her, okay, I brought her over from London today. And I was there when she was, uh, telling her story, okay? There's no doubt in my mind she's telling the truth. There's no doubt, okay, what happened. She is the person, okay, that took Victoria, okay, Tori, across the road. We have your car, okay? I, I saw your car there. Okay, your car's unique. There's not many cars with that color, okay, kind of the bluish, 
black type of homemade paint job with a spoiler on the back with the rims. Okay, your, yours is a unique car. Now the thing is, Mike, okay, the thing is, your car is seen at 329, okay? Or so right around there, 331, okay, on the 8th of April, pulling into that Crescent Care parking lot. That, that, your vehicle's on video, okay? Your, your car is unique, okay, there's no doubt. And Terry talks about, okay, walking Victoria. And we had the conversation about the puppy and so on, and and she takes Victoria over to your car. There's no doubt there about that. There's no doubt. The situation is, okay, why? I think what happened here is it got out of hand. You know, if you could take that back, okay, I think some bad decisions were made because of a couple people that in their life right now, okay, it just things aren't going that good for them. You know, Terry's got some bad problems at home right now with her mom, right? Mom's dying of cancer, intestinal, all the problems with the drugs and the people that are hanging out there. You've got all the stuff going on in your life, okay? And that's what's happened here is some bad decisions were made, okay? And there's no doubt, she's already said that. She's admitted what she's done, okay? She did take Victoria over to your car and you're there. Your car's right there on video. There's video all over the place. Your car is there, okay? There's no doubt there. Like, so what's happened is from there, you know, you didn't expect to do what you're doing, but it got going and got snowball, okay? And you know what a snowball's like when it's rolling downhill. It gets bigger and bigger. And something happens, okay? You didn't mean to, to happen the way it did. And it, what happened is you panicked and some bad decisions were made again. Now, I talked to Terry, I saw Terry's interview. There's no doubt in my mind, okay? She's talking about what happened. It's the truth, okay, about taking her. She took her, okay, from where she was coming from school, walking, and she brought her over to your car. There's no doubt, okay? There's no doubt there at all. And after we interviewed you, you know, you weren't really opening up that much to me about names and so on. I know you're maybe a pri little bit of a private person there on that. The situation is that, you know, you did leave. You got out of the area for a little bit, okay? Your car wasn't around. We were checking, okay? You weren't. You were out of the area every day. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, maybe. But the thing is, you had a lot on your mind then. You had a lot on your mind. You didn't expect the police to be coming to your house and knocking on your door. Because you even wondered, you know, how, why were we there? Like, okay. That's the thing. You didn't expect us to be knocking on the door. And what do you think they're gonna find, okay, when they analyze your vehicle for DNA? Okay, what are they gonna find? Terry's been in my car. Terry's been in your car, right? We know that. And we know Tori's been in your car. Mike, look at me for a second. You know what? I don't think you're a bad guy. I don't think you're bad at all, you know? You have some, uh, you know, the Fred Astaire dance that you wanted to do. You know, I think you're a good family person. I do. I think you're a good family person and a good person. But what's happened here is because of who's meshed together, the two of you are not a good mix. And things got out of hand here. There's no doubt that's what happened. And if you could take that back, if you could take that back, Mike, 
I know you would take it back. I know you would. There's no doubt in my mind. I know you would. But you know what? It's happened. The thing is to correct it, okay? The best you could now. That's what we need to do. Okay? And, you know, there is things that are being verified about your vehicle pulling in there on that 8th at that time. Okay? And she was dropped off. And she walked over to the car. When you guys go to the store later, okay? There's video everywhere. It's going to have is there. Okay? It's there. But the thing is, okay, why did it go to that? You know, why did it go that way? If she could be brought home right now, I know you'd want it. I know you'd want that. Okay? I know you'd want her home. Okay? If you could do, turn it back, you'd, you'd have her back here. But the thing is, got caught up, okay? Got caught up. You got caught up. Like, you're not that bad a guy. But the problem is, there was a couple bad decisions here, right? I'm not saying it's all your fault at all, okay? I'm not saying it's you your fault, okay? There's no way. It's important here though, Mike, okay? It's tell me your side. It's important to tell me. Now we've met, okay? I think I, you know, I got to know you a little bit. But we've learned a lot more over the last while. Okay? And Mike, I'm prepared to talk to you and listen to you. Okay. Everybody's prepared to talk to me right at this moment. No, you know what it is? I'm prepared to listen to you. No, everybody just wants their answers. No, Mike, look at me for a second. Okay? Just look at me for a second. You know, in your heart there, you know how important it is. Okay? To clear things up clear your conscience because this has really been eaten away at you. I know, I could tell, even when we met, okay, your eyes, I could tell it's been eaten away at you. You've been living with this thing since that time. thing is though, you panicked and things happened, okay? There is going to be evidence there, okay? There's going to be evidence found. Maybe you didn't mean to kill her, okay? Maybe it just, things got out of hand. You panicked. Things happened. But you know what? It's important to tell me, okay? I know inside your heart there, you're, it's, it's beating, okay? That you're not that bad a guy. But because you know you guys got caught up, it was the oxys, you guys weren't thinking properly, some bad decisions were made. Your car is there. That's we can't take that away. It's there. And Terry is saying she's there. She's admitted that. She's given other information. That's good for Terry. Yeah. It's good for her. But you know what though? She's put you there too. She's put you guys there. As you're she driving down the there. highway. She has. You know, putting, talking about their favorite color and purple and put, 
telling her, you know, put her head down as the truckers are going by and so on. Okay. Yeah. is in your mind of what happened that that day and I'm sure you think about it and you think about it and you think about it and sometimes you know maybe the oxys help maybe the, you know the dreads help to kind of mask what you're thinking what you're feeling I know you've had the, a bit of a problem with the oxys for a while, right? How long has it been? Before you answer that, well, how long has it been? Before you answer that, yeah. I know it's been a problem. It's all right. It's been eating away at you. It has been. It has been. I know it has been. Okay. Like I said, you got a lot going on in your life right now. Your mom has a lot going on in her life. Your grandmother has a lot going on in her life. And if you could fix any of that, you would. The problem was back on the 8th, guys made some bad decisions, that's all. Okay, you made some bad decisions. But everything's getting connected here. The dots are being connected. It is, the evidence is there. There will be DNA found in your car, okay? And then what are you going to be able to say about that? What can you say about that? when Tori's DNA is found in there. A strand of her hair, some skin cells. Terry's saying what she's saying. Why would she talk about you then? When your car is right there, I've seen it myself. I've seen it at that time. You can see it pulling right in. You can see it pulling in where it did. And you see Terry walking across with Tori right in that same area minutes later. Minutes. And I'm only talking a couple minutes. Less than a couple minutes. She can say what she wants to say. I know what I didn't do. Well, so I don't. What are they going to say though, Mike, when your vehicle is right on? That it's Home Depot. I'm myself to talk about what, that. What, what are you going like to say though up. when it's at a Home Depot? When the, something like that comes up, if it comes up. But what do you, you know? My lawyer and I will have to talk about it. You know how it is at uh, parking lots and so on. When you're there, your vehicle's there, where it's parked. Terry went with the drive around, showed the parking spot exactly. Okay. That's very important. That's very important. What you're seeing now then, okay. just not adding up. Mm -hmm. It's not what you're saying, okay? Because the facts are the facts. The evidence is there. The evidence is what it is. I did 
you could kill anybody. You were there. You were there, though. I didn't help kill anybody. You were there. You've heard from Terry. Okay. Mm. You've heard from Terry. Okay. Information. Terry is saying I'm there. Terry. You're saying my car is there. Your car. Do you not think it's unique, Mike? Right. My my car is there, and Terry, the drug addict, who stabs people, is there, saying that I was there. Your car. Do you do you think it's unique? The sure. color of it. There's lots of Civics. <laughs> Is, is there many Mike with that color? Come know. on, be honest. I don't know. Be honest. I don't know. With that paint job in town here. I don't know. You know. With those rims? With that spoiler? That spoiler's a very common spoiler <laughs> on every other city that's out there. <laughs> well, come on. What about... All right, then. <laughs> We're done. Hey, what about that? Come on. We're done. Now, you know what? Okay. That spoiler is on every other Civic okay. of the same model. Yeah, but the rims are unique, and your the uh, rims aren't unique either. Well, with the I'm saying with it the, collectively, okay. And the anyways, and the color. Terry, you said is saying that I was there. Terry is saying she was there, and Terry is saying that, and you're saying my car is on a video. Yeah, car is. That's on not video. enough for me. That's not enough. No. There's more. No. There's more. I'm only laying out some of it. Okay. I'm only laying out some of it, Mike. Okay, then. Okay? Then the rest is from my lawyer, I guess, to discuss with me. Yeah. Because I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't kill anybody, and I didn't help kill anybody. Well, I think you did. Well, I think I didn't. Yeah. I know I didn't. I, well, in fact, I know you did. Okay. Well, that's good then for you. I know you did. I know I didn't. So this conversation is done now since you're saying you know I did. Like I said, the evidence is the evidence, Mike. Okay. And as it unfolds, and it will more and more and more over the next few months, okay, as things get analyzed, and it comes back. There will be no waiting. There will be no doubt. Okay. There's no doubt now. Okay. Okay. Well, obviously there's doubt now. Why is that? Why would you be in here? Why would the guy in be in be in here before? Why would the guy come in here barking at me? Because you know what it comes down to. It comes down to giving you an opportunity. Okay. A chance. To, to speak, that's to what explain, court is for. And explain your side, okay? This is what court's for, though. This is what lawyers are for. This is what court is for, for people to speak. That's fine, but you know what? You're a man as well, okay? So I come in here, and I talked to you one time already, and I'm giving you an opportunity as a man, okay, to stand up. tell the truth and you know what you haven't you're not telling the truth and I'm giving you an opportunity as a man okay to look me in the eyes to talk to me and you're not okay I know you after we talked to you you're gone you're gone for a few days where I'm always you, gone for a few days where did you go I'm always gone for where a few you, days where did you go this past we come in. Well, if you didn't know, then no, so that's your job as well, I'm giving you, to know. Well, I'm giving you an opportunity. Well, that's a simple question, right? No. That's a simple question. Your mom's car van's parked right up the next morning. Eight o'clock in the morning, up where your car was that night. 
who was parked on the road when we left. It always switched does that. Well, you switched up. It always does that. What always does that? The van goes up there. Yep. Yeah. So what time did you leave out there? We saw you on the Friday, right? On the 15th? I don't remember. Somewhere around 7 o'clock or so, or somewhere around there, was it? I don't remember. I think it was. So where did you end up going? Then? That's a simple question. No answer I don't care to give. What's that? An answer that I don't care to give. You go down to your brother's place? Sure. I'm not answering. You don't want to answer? Were you down out of Woodstock? Once again, I'm not answering. But why? Why can't you say something simple like that where you want? I'll wait till I discuss everything with my lawyer. What's your mom going to say? Well, I guess we're about to find out, aren't we? Yeah. I think that's important. I love my mother. My mother knows I love her. That's all I need to know. Your mom loves you, yeah. But you know what? I think she's a little worried about you lately. I think she has been worried about you. Not her. Well, who you've been hanging around with, what you've been doing. Who I've been hanging around with. Well, Terry Lynn. I know she's saying she's been over helping out too with Carol. Mm -hmm. Okay. We both have been hanging out, helping out. Yeah. Trying to do what you can do, right? Obviously your mom's going to be able to say then after what time she pulled that van up there. When you left, she's going to know exactly when that was. Okay. Well, her van was on the in the middle of the, on the road. Her van always is in the middle of the road and it's always parked in the driveway. It's always doing, we are always going through that scenario. Okay. So it's so, like it's one scenario that okay. holds great importance because it doesn't. Okay, then when did it happen that night? Or that next morning? Like at 8 o'clock it was already done. By 8 o'clock, it was already done. So within, you know, 12 hours. Within 12 hours, I left my house. Well, we were talking to you in the evening. Next morning, it was gone. So after we talked to you, you're out of there. We're having officers checking it every day at different times during the day, and it's gone. It's not around. All weekend. Even Monday, because it's a long weekend, could it? Well, maybe it is. I just thought it was kind of strange. You know, the time in, we talked to you and it's gone. You're gone. But you talked to me on the beginning of a long weekend. Okay, maybe you had plans. What do you expect? Like, did you have plans, Mike? I did have plans. Yeah. What did you have plans with? You know what? This is the same way you were with me on Friday. Mm -hmm. And you, you got to admit that, right? I don't know. Because remember me asking you about that? I said, Mike, why don't you want to tell me, you know, the names of... Uh, People I know? Yeah. Because it's not your business. You want to talk about Amanda? Amanda's the one that... Uh, because these are unimportant people to me, so what do I care if I talk about them? Well, Amanda's daughter is good friends, you told me, with Tori. Uh-huh, apparently. Well, that's what you told me. That's what she told me. Okay, and then after... Tori uh, was abducted, and Amanda started to hang around with the family. And you guys kind of went your separate ways. But you didn't know her last name, you didn't know the street other than something no. like Baxter or something like that. Kind of supposed to know everything about somebody I don't really know. I think with her, you didn't want to tell me Joy's name. You didn't want to tell me the girl and uh, your girlfriend in Oakville? Is she the one that was getting those jobs for you down there? 
We just didn't want to say much. Because it's not your business. Well, it is my business. No, it's not. It's, you know, we, it's not their business. You know what, though? We've talked to numerous, hundreds of people, and everyone's opened up to us. That's, I'm, I'm but you know thrilled what? for that. You know what? I don't think that it's other people's businesses about what I'm being questioned about. But you know what? That was a And I don't need you guys going to people who are, are people from my past questioning them and embarrassing me about things that are coming up. That was just about some people you know locally. That wasn't, it was just a matter of getting some information on them. That's all to verify mm -hmm. who they are. That's all. People are opening up talking to us about all kinds of stuff. That's good. Not you. You can't even say where you were on the weekend? Nope. Did you tell your mom? I think you did. I think you tell your mom a lot of stuff. No, I didn't tell her. You didn't tell her? I don't tell her where I am. You don't tell her where you are? She's not my gatekeeper. Well, she's probably still concerned, even though you're 28. Which is why I check up on her from time to time. So what's your Which cell phone? What's your her. cell phone gonna tell us? Because we're gonna find out. What's your cell phone gonna tell us? Yeah. Because we're gonna find out. Is it gonna tell you where you've been? Who you've called? What towers? You've gone off of? Maybe. What areas? Maybe. Certain days? Maybe. Tell you where you've been on the weekend? Maybe. Where you were on the eighth? I'm not sure. You're not sure where you were on the eighth? I'm not sure if I'm gonna tell you that. No, you'd be surprised. No, I will not be surprised. You know what, when you talked to me on the 15th, you just told me you drove around and you couldn't really remember what you were doing on the 8th. You want me to remember what I did a month ago when I can remember what I did well, two you, days ago? You said you remember about the helicopters. Yeah, how can you possibly not remember something like that? You can't remember that day? You want to take a day where there's there's choppers and everything else going around, and not remember that. That's just. Well, you, do you remember what you were doing around that time then? Those the days were right around there. Because you know very well what you're doing. Okay. So you're parked down at Crescent Care. In a range with Terry, okay, and Tori. Nope. Nope. Yeah. 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 Nope. Well, you're interested in uh, what Terry had to say before, right? You wanted to see it? I'll wait till I talk to my lawyer. Yeah. No, I'm just saying if you know, yeah, even in the morning you want to have a have a look at it. I get the computer and I show you. Would you want to sit down and I just hit play? Mm -hmm. I'll wait till I talk to my lawyer. Well, before you're asking about it. Yeah, I'll, well, I'll wait till I talk to my lawyer because my lawyer can set everything up. Okay, just one sec, okay. Mm -hmm.
rozšíri. get down to the facts kind of guy. I'm sure you've uh, realized that from a brief encounter earlier, All right? This is not rocket science. I've got what Terry Lynn has told me this afternoon, and I've got you. This is your opportunity, Terry Lynn's sitting right here. Tell us she's a liar. Leave 
have no problem in it staying with her out of the room. Carries the wire. Yeah, that's what you're holding. I'm not even looking at it. I don't need to look at it. You haven't been looking at any of them. I don't need to look at any of them. I know what going to happen. Have you stopped for a second to think about all of the forensic evidence that is yet to come in this investigation? And the lawyer will have to deal with that. How does your lawyer deal with your semen on an eight-year-old's body? I guess a like, lawyer would I, have, I have to never deal with such things if they came up. What's that? I guess a lawyer would have to deal with such things if such things came up. Do you know how the legal system works, Mike? Who gives instructions to who? Do you instruct your lawyer or does your lawyer instruct you? You instruct your lawyer. So when that happens, your lawyer's going to say to you, Mike, what do you want me to do with this evidence? Okay. Sure. Thanks, Terry. See, Mike, you know why I was hard when I walked in here, okay? And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pull any punches here, okay? I'm not gonna try and kiss your ass, all right? I mean, let's face it, I'm a cop, all right? And the last five weeks, I've been trying to find out who killed an eight-year-old girl, okay? And I know the guys from Behavioral Sciences, they got their thing, they're trying to understand why that's what they do. You guys all work together. Yeah, we do. They're good people, they know their job very well. And sure as hell, I'd like to know why, all right? I'd like to think that we don't have people walking around our communities who just because they're bored on an afternoon say, hey, why don't we grab that girl and, uh, and rape and murder her, okay? I'd like to think that we live in a community where people think a little bit more about what they're gonna do than that, all right? But what do you think you're coming off as right now? Do you think you're coming off as an innocent guy? Do you think you're looking like somebody who's been wrongfully accused here? You're going to see it however you want to see it. My lawyer, or the lawyer, instructed me to just say... Yeah, I know, Mike. I know what your lawyer instructed you to say. But that doesn't make you an innocent man. That makes you a man who's saying, holy fuck, what am I going to do now? Nothing I do is going to change your opinion. So I might as well just follow the lawyer's advice. Well... You're right there, Mike. Nothing you do is going to get you walking out of this police station tonight without being charged with murder and Tory Stafford. You're right, okay? Because everything, every single thing Terry Lynn has told us, as we go through checking her story, and we've just started checking her story, has checked out everything. Okay? And things are starting to fall apart for you, okay? We, I just heard your name for the first time a couple of days ago as one of hundreds of names that I have my investigators look at. Okay. Things changed this afternoon very quickly when we had Terry Lynn in here for a chat. Okay. And I'm not saying Terry Lynn walked in here and said, hey guys, guess what, I'm involved. All right. She resisted. She took, she took time trying to convince us that she wasn't. And then for whatever reason, Whatever twigged with her, the lights started to come on, and she decided, you know what? I'm gonna get ahead of this thing. And that's her thing, okay? That's her thing. But 10 minutes ago, an officer just handed me a fax report from London police but a date rape allegation involving you. That and that's an only, Mike, that's only three hours in to talking to you. Okay. How unfortunate for you that within five months you've been accused of date rape, of drugging a girl, and now you're accused of kidnapping and murdering an eight-year-old girl.
that's what this is, Mike. This is not me interpreting the evidence. I cannot take what Terry Lynn said to me this afternoon and say, oh, maybe she's mistaken. You can't take what somebody has said to you and just, by God, believe it. Because if things were that simple, then there wouldn't be such things as court systems. Absolutely. There wouldn't be such things as CSI people and forensics and uh, DNA analysis. Right. Okay. Um, you know that within, I would say, a couple of hours from now, actually you and I will probably talk after we do it, we'll have the search warrant signed to search your car. Okay. Now, will you help me out with this? Okay, it's a simple question, Mike. Is there going to be parts of your back seat removed? Parts of the material in your back seat removed? I guess you're going to find out. Well, it's a simple question. You know I'm going to find out. We have your okay. car. Well, then you're going to find out. What's the point of asking? Because the point is, those are, that's one of the things that Terry Lynn says she knows you did. It's Terry one. Lynn rides in my car. So if there's anything different about my car, Terry Lynn knows. Right. But everything Terry, Terry Lynn, Lynn is saying is going to be checking out. You know that. Okay. You're a smart man. Okay? Nobody's claiming that you're a stupid person here, right? Right? And I'm not trying to kiss your ass by saying you're smart either, but that's just common I'm sense. I'm not saying you are. But Mike, you know how much media coverage this has. You know what the newspapers are going to do with this and to your family tomorrow, okay? You think the cops are gonna be talking to everybody you ever spoke to in your life? That's nothing compared to what the media is gonna be doing. This is a huge story for them. This is the next Paul Bernardo. Whether you like it or not, a girl and a guy kidnapping an eight-year-old girl and murdering her. That's one of the most sensational things that have happened in this province since Bernardo and Carla. It's going to be a frenzy, and you and I both know that. Did you know your mother's being interviewed right now? No. How do you think she's taking this? Probably not the greatest. Well, Mike, you know, we're not doing this to be pricks, okay? We're not going talking to your friends and family to be pricks. We have to do this. Okay? If we didn't do it, the Crown Attorney would order us to do it. That's not even that an option for me. If I didn't do that, my boss would pull me off this case so fast my head would be spinning and somebody else would be on it the next day. Awesome. Okay. Now I know this is going to sound like a deal to you, but it's not. Okay, and I guarantee you it's not. Right? But if you want us to lay off your family, then you need to tell the truth. Because otherwise we have to go find the truth out from everybody else and put the pieces together. And you want to force our hand, that's fine, okay? Because the commissioner of the OPP has already gone public saying every resource possible, and I'm sure you've read the articles, will be thrown at finding the persons responsible for what happened to Tory Stafford. There is nothing bigger in this province right now. And really, when you look at it, there's only two ways to approach this story from a media perspective. And I think the guy from Behavioral Science has already kind of talked to you about that a little bit. This is either two people who, whose lives were overtaken by drugs and all the stress and everything that goes on, and they made a, a bad decision made a bad, bad mistake. Or this is two cold-blooded psychopaths who were planning and plotting to snatch an innocent little girl off the street. Okay. And those aren't my words, Mike. Those are the words that the media is going to use, and you know that. You can control that to a certain extent. No. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can, because when they ask us what you had to say about it, we can either say, he's a witness, we can kill a lawyer. 
Yeah. And then it's open season for the media. They can say whatever they want. Well, it doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't. It's not going to make a difference of what they say. Nothing's going to change what they say. Even, even if, if they were one hundred percent rooting for me, it's not going to change because of things that they say. If they were gunning for me, it's not going to change because of what they say. Right. It's not going to make a difference. No, it's not going to make a difference. You're right. It's not going to change the fact that you're going to be charged with murdering Tory Stafford. You're right. Charged. Yeah. Not convicted. No, I don't convict people. I'm an investigator. I follow the evidence. for a second and think about all of the potential evidence that's still to come in this case. The 401 cameras. Any of the cameras leading to that residence you went to in Guelph. The traffic cameras, cameras at stores, the Home Depot cameras. The cameras alone are going to track you. Right? And we can talk about uh, we can talk about uh, Tory Stafford's DNA being in your car. We can talk about how blood soaks through material and people cut out material, but it still gets to the under padding um, because it happens all the time. I'm sure you watch CSI. I think you have a pretty good idea of, of what happens with with human um, fluids. They seep. They seep through things. They seep through material. They get into the foam. Right? They get into the carpet fibers. We're not even talking about blood anymore. We're not even talking about saliva. We're talking about skin cells. We lose thousands of them every second. If Tori could have sat in, your, in the back seat of your car for 10 seconds and jumped out, ran away, you could probably still find your DNA in your car. All that time in your car, your DNA is in your car, Mike. Okay. But the biggest issue for you is explaining why your DNA is on your body. That's the problem you're going to have. Okay. And you can work through these things, you can try and figure out you know, how's my, how am I going to spin this, how am I going to spin that. Right. Simply, it's not going to happen. Well, people tell me that all the time. I've been doing this okay. job for 20 years, and it happens. Okay. Fine, it also doesn't happen. Well, it's going to happen in this case. No, you think it's going to happen yeah. in this case because some dread addict girl whose mom shoots up I, and I know who's all about stabbed Terry people, Lane. like yeah. that obviously then, obviously then it's just got to be true. See, Mike, this is the problem, though. We're only three hours into this conversation. Okay. What do I do tomorrow when I pull the Home Depot camera and I say, Mike, you're on video driving at that Home Depot parking lot on the afternoon of the 8th of July with Terry Lynn and a young female in your car? I have a feeling that's not going to happen. Okay, having a feeling is not good enough. If it happens, what are you going to say? Okay. And then are you going to say, hey, you got me. I'm sorry. I, uh, I'm a drug addict now, and uh, I... I Hey, someone mind? faked the video. <laughs> that's, Maybe something that's along those lines. So now, now we're moving from Terry Lynn's line to now the police are trying to frame me. I never said the police are trying to frame me. You're trying to implicate something. You're trying to say something happened. Well, if, if I fake you don't my, know it if happened, I fake that you're video. going based on what some girl has told you. Who's going to fake the video, Mike? Who's going to fake it? Maybe you didn't get what I said. I go to Home Depot security office and I have them pull their video cameras of their parking lot because all Home Depots have them. I'm sure you've seen how they have the lawnmowers out there, how they have all that equipment out there for sale. They have video cameras in all their parking lots. Okay. okay it's a huge business. You go there, pull the tapes, and I see you on that afternoon. Not going to happen. Why? 
I'm not there. Okay, and that's what I wanted to hear from you, okay? Denying something that the evidence is going to show to be true. What are you going to do with that? Like, what kind of conversation are we going to have, say, at noon tomorrow, when I walk in and I say, Mike, the videotape from the Home Depot shows you there, or the videotape from the uh, the traffic light in We're going to have whatever conversation that the so lawyer you, says to have. Yeah, you're going to go back to, I'm waiting for my lawyer. Yes. And that's fine. Okay. Okay, that's fine. But that's where I'm standing. Don't bitch at me about interviewing your family and your friends. Your family and your you friends. You asked a question. Your I close responded. family is That's probably going to get interviewed about three or four times. Okay. Well, okay. you asked a question. I responded. Okay. How are you going to respond to your mom when she says, Mike, how come the media is here every day shoving cameras in my face? I'll deal with that when the time comes. Yeah. You know what a psychopath is, Mike? I had never met one. Well, I just met one tonight. It was you. You had a room. No. Psychopaths don't tell the truth. Psychopaths rarely confess, actually. Okay. Paul Bernardo never confessed. All right. Paul Bernardo's dangerous offender. He's never getting out. Okay. Paul Bernardo kept saying, you'll never find the evidence. You'll never find any DNA. It's not there. It's all over the place. so funny how you can compare me to somebody like that because what a 19 year old girl has said what has it got to do with her being 19 she saw what she saw Terry Lynn has is being a female being a young female people are more inclined to believe I mean even when people saw the video when they start to think I wonder if this is a stranger that has grabbed Tori because let's face it rumor around town maybe mom's involved maybe it's drug related blah 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 right we've been hearing that forever but even when people start to turn their minds to maybe this is a maybe this is a stranger. Maybe that woman with the, with Tori on that video is a stranger to Tori. Do you think they were contemplating the fact that a female would do this on their own? No. Everybody's talking about the fact, well, some guy must have made her do this, right? Oh, I don't know what some guy she's involved with. She's involved with you. She's not involved with me. Dozens of people that she knows. When was the last time you saw Terry Lynn before tonight? I dropped her off clothes. Okay, why if she knows dozens of people? Are you the one that has to bring her clothes? Because I'm talking to her mother and because I'm not high all the time. Mm -hmm. Like everybody else. Like the guy who found me in a parking lot, whacked out of his tree. Terry Lynn that if the police come and talk to her that uh, she should be telling them nothing, first of all, that she doesn't know you, and secondly, if something comes up where they can prove that she knows you, then she should tell them that that car that was uh, released by the police, that you guys just drove Tori down to that other car and then you don't know what happened. Is that going to be your story? It's not my story. Was it though? It's not my How story. do you explain that? I was only partially abducting her? part-time abductor what the fuck okay what the fuck exactly right I'm pretty sure any more questions now can go towards a lawyer I don't have any questions for you I just wanted to meet the guy that I've been chasing down for the last five weeks you have been chasing me for five weeks well I've been chasing the person that killed Tori wrong again and you're that person Mike wrong again 
But once again, you're going to believe whatever you want to believe until, yeah, even, even if you don't have facts in front of you. That's not very smart. So what do you suggest the police do when somebody like Terry Lane comes in and, and tells us what she told us today? What, do you, what would you do as a police officer? I'm not a police officer. I don't know. Well, you're obviously pissed off about the decision we did make. 